What is up, it's Dick and Mel. Welcome to the channel and thank you for stopping by. We finally have at least a page from the Brian Laundry notebook, which has been released. I mean, this is, I guess, his final words. And apparently it seems like he's kind of placing blame on Gabby and he was like putting her out of her misery. Definitely comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this. We're going to read this together. This was released by Fox News. I believe this is page eight. And I wonder when the rest is going to come out. And remember, there was a lot of questions and people kind of wondering and thinking, is this even possible to recover this notebook? Did he even really write anything? Could they, because of the water, recover this notebook? And I, I don't know if the notebook was like in something in a bag, I think it was, or something like that. But it, clearly there was some water here that got to this, but it's legible. And it says, so she would wake in pain, start her, I don't know if that says whale painful cycle or her whole painful cycle again while furious that I was the one waking her, she wouldn't let me try to, I don't know what that means, harass, horace, the creek, though like me, that the fire would go out in her sleep and she'd freeze. I don't know the extent of Gabby's injuries, only that she was in extreme pain. I ended her life. I thought it would be merciful that it is what she wanted, but I see now all the mistakes I made. I panicked. I was in shock, but from the moment I decided took away her pain, I knew I couldn't go on without her. Or from the moment I decided to take away her pain, I guess he meant to say, I knew I couldn't go on without her. So, so far I'm seeing that only one page has been released. It says here that this is a portion of eight page. Um, they did make some notes on this article that I guess are maybe on different pages. And it says here that attorneys representing Petito Schmidt and Largie's family met at the FBI's Tampa field office on Friday, Fox news digital obtained copies of the notes scrawled by laundry before he took his own life. This is the note that we just looked at, but there's something else here. It says, please do not make life harder for my family. The notebook states they lost a son and daughter and a daughter, the most wonderful girl in the world. Gabby, I'm sorry. Earlier in the note, he wrote, I'm sorry to my family. This is a shock to them as well as a terrible grief. And you guys may remember, so that book and I guess some of the belongings were found in like this dry bag. That dry bag, I thought it looked like it had a hole. I don't know at the time. That's why a lot of people were talking about maybe it's all damaged and gone. But it says here, Fox News Digital tailed Laundry's parents to the park that morning where they met a Northport police detective and a member of the FBI and set off into the swamp for a look at where they believe their son had disappeared weeks earlier. And so extensive searches had been hindered by floodwaters up until that point. Christopher stumbled across a dry bag that later turned out to belong to his son, which a lot of people thought was like suspicious and like they knew all along and blah, blah, blah. You know how that went. And it says a notebook collected by the FBI that morning contained the confession. And this is the, I believe this is the dry bag where like it looked like there was a hole there. I mean, so I don't know. You know, so a lot of people were concerned about that. I don't know if this is like they brought that there and then put it inside or this is the actual bag. Let's take a look at the video. People were thinking that this was like planted and that they put this there and all that kind of stuff. Because, um, yeah, she's holding it. I guess that's the uh, bag. Maybe they took it out. They're looking at it. And a couple of us thought that the guy with the dog was like Doug from New, was it Newport? Whatever they call that place, Northport. That was hilarious, but it, it wasn't him. And at that point, that's when people were saying too that they believe that um, Chris may have been crying and she maybe like wiped the tear or something like that from his face. Good morning. Uh, that's what we thought that was Doug. Was like that's Doug. The mystery solved. How you doing? It's just a guy walking down. 
He likes to jump. He's a puppy. Yeah, buddy. He's cute. <laughs> He's everybody's friend, but he just, just jumps sometimes. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Turn on the bell notifications. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a happy Friday. Take care of yourselves and 